1987, Micro Machines released their first collection. It was full of sport cars, military vehicles, boats, and planes. Slowly, they increased more and more their lines and their collections. By the early 90s, their market share was higher than Hot Wheels and Matchbox combined. Yes, these little guys were a hit. That's why today I want to cover 10 years of Micro Machine history with three collections. One military set from 1988, another military set from 1992, and to finish, one National Geographic one from 1998. If you are an old collector like me, or if you are a new one that doesn't understand the hype around Micro Machines, what? you should stay, because today in GR Collectibles we have a Micro Machine in <laughs> In 1988, the second year of the Micro Machines, they released two military sets. This is the second one of them. The M37 is based on a Dodge M37 vehicle. It was in production from 1951 until 1968, used exclusively for military purposes. The M7 Priest was an American tank produced during the World War II. Its official name is Howitzer Motor Carriage M7. Made by the Bell helicopter Textron, the Cobra was the first attack helicopter in the world. The missile carrier doesn't seem to be an officially licensed vehicle, but it has some resemblance to the M939 5-ton 6x6 truck produced by AM General for the US military during the 80s. The BMW R75 was produced also during the World War II, and its peculiarity is that the wheel of the sidecar was actually connected to the back wheels of the motorcycle by an axis which effectively made this a tricycle. This is the first time that all these vehicles were released, but Micro Machines released them several times in the upcoming years, so they are not uncommon. It's worth to mention that with the exception of the AH-1 Cobra, they were released only with military liveries.
By 1992, Micro Machines was a huge success in their mainline, but they also noticed the increasing demand for military vehicles, so this year they released 17 sets dedicated to this topic. Yes, you heard correctly, one seven. Six of them were released under the collection Armed Forces, and another 11 were released under Military. This is the first set of those 11, and it's called Ambush Squad. In 1980, Chrysler produced the first M1 Abrams tank, and it has been in service ever since. The American tank was named after the General Creighton Abrams. The Sheridan was a light tank designed to be landed by parachute and to swim across rivers. It was named after the General Philip Sheridan, and it was the General Abrams who urged the beginning of the Sheridan service in 1967. MLRS stands for Multi-Launch Rocket System, the first M 270 was introduced to service in 1983 and is still being used today. The 11 sets from the military collection in 1992 included a bonus of military troops. This was the first time that Micro Machines added little people on their sets. Like with the previous set, all these vehicles were released several times in the upcoming years. It's not difficult to find them, the release were always on their military livery. We make a jump to 1998, almost at the end of the Galoob era. And by then, Micro Machines had several collection lines and one of them was a partnership with National Geographic. The idea was to put together some vehicles to represent historical moments or specific natural areas, like in this case, the swamp. The airboats are common in swamps due to the shallow areas. And this vehicle was not released too many times by Micro Machines, so it might be difficult to find. The Range Rover was a commonly used casting. It's easy to understand that being an off-road vehicle is included in this set. The Bell 47 was a single rotor, single engine light helicopter. It was not uncommon to use this light helicopter in areas that are difficult to access by land, like the swamp. I think the alligator was only included in this set and in the Swamp Beast collection from 1994. It's not easy to find. The same with the Ranger. I think that it was included only in one other set in a different year. Micro Machines released thousands of vehicles in the 80s and 90s, and they made several comebacks over the years. Currently, they seem to have a relationship with Jazzwares, but the quality and detail that the little guys had in the past doesn't seem to be quite there yet. Lucky for us, there's a bunch of old Micro Machine sets in eBay flying around. I will leave some links in the description below for you if you want to check them out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I think that you know what to do. My name is JR. Thanks for being here and see you next time. Adios.